Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a Florida Virtual School related subject. It's going to be on discussion based assignments, also known as DBAs to us virtual students. Uh, essentially, discussion based assignments are a brief conversation with your teacher over the phone in regards to the module or the series of lessons that you learned for that particular assignment. Uh, it generally takes about 10 minutes, but sometimes it can be a little less if you know what you're doing, a little more if you need some more time. But the teachers are really flexible with it. Um, you can do it later if you want to, you can do it earlier if you want to. The whole Florida virtual program is very flexible. I will say that it is a bit intimidating at times because sometimes you genuinely have a hard time um, with your assignments, so it can be a bit rough if you're trying to regurgitate all this information in answers to the questions that you actually really don't really know. But it is open note, so if you know that you're going to struggle on um, a particular DBA, then you should probably study a bit harder on it and at least write down a lot of information. That way you can bring it in with you with the phone call um, and use it because if you don't, then you'll have a rough time. And for math classes, um, I do find that they're a bit different because they're not usually over the phone. Um, most of the time they are through our live lesson program, uh, which is essentially, uh, it's called Blackboard. They give you all the questions on the screen and generally there'll be other students with you, but you can't talk or type or anything. Um, you each have your own individual screen and you write down your answers on them. That way they can see your work and that way they know what they're, uh, they know that you know what you're doing. But if you are having a hard time with a particular lesson or um, just the whole thing in general, then they do give you a bit of leniency, um, at least in my experience. They do try to, you know, lead you on a little bit, um, but if you genuinely have no idea, like, you can't answer any of the questions, then most of the time they will give you um, another opportunity to do it, um, which I have actually had to do with my uh, algebra class. Um, I'm going into my senior year now, but I just completed my first year. So it is a bit... Um, difficult sometimes, but um, the second time I pushed through it and I got my 70, um, I just needed to pass uh, that DBA. And they are required um, each semester for every class, so if you don't pass or you don't do it, then you will be held back. So it is really important that you study up for these particular assignments. But I believe that about covers it for the DBAs. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you found the video informative or you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and subscribing is optional. I just wanted to say thank you for a thousand views on my last video. I thought that um, if I could just tell everyone, I guess <laughs> the truth tea or anything <laughs> like that about Florida Virtual, and not just spew a whole bunch of hate or dislike for it, then it was worth a shot just to try to give people at least some positive outlook on it because it is truly a beneficial program if you're the right person for it. But if you are a procrastinator, like a big procrastinator, then it will be a bit difficult. But I myself am a professional procrastinator, so I definitely struggled a bit in the beginning but I managed to push through it, and now I'm going into my last year. So um, it will all work out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.